and one wonders where do you have time to now pen yet another book this one a place of yes 10 rules for getting everything you want out of life where'd this come from basically the way that I got here in my life is from coming from a place of yes it doesn't mean that I'm always positive it doesn't mean that I'm always in a good mood it just means that there is no such word as no in my vocabulary and it's just yes we can get it done and it will happen and I will make it happen and keep going plow straight through things so first you break the chain and then you say you know in, in your book you're gonna, you have 10 rules you say everything is your business give every job your all respect others play fair you know something you know tells me that you detail this in a very unique way if you're bartending if you are a busboy if you choose to do a job you can't think it's beneath you and you have to treat it like it's the most important job in the world you have to take pride in that job whatever it is that you have whatever is in your grasp be the best at it well, the because thing, you never know it might be a stepping stone the to the thing, next thing yeah I moved to LA when I was 21 and the first thing I did was I went to bartending school. And I thought, well, that was so stupid. When am I ever going to use that? That was wasted money. And now I have the number one ready to drink cocktail, skinny girl <laughs> margarita. All roads lead to Rome, which is another big rule. How did that road to Rome lead you to reality shows, to Housewives? It started on the Martha Stewart Apprentice. I really wanted to be her predecessor. I wanted to be Martha Stewart's apprentice. And the Real Housewives was a decision that was very difficult. It was originally called Manhattan Moms. I turned down the show because I thought it would ruin everything I had just begun to build. And then I said, you know, I have a book, I have a cocktail idea, and this could be a great platform. It's not that easy to get on television. Coming from a place of yes is also being able to sit down, really search for your gut, and kind of see the chessboard and try to think about how it might be a few steps forward and and weigh out the pros and pro, I'm sorry and weigh the pros and cons. And once you got in it, did you identify right away that you know what? There can be something that happens from here. I could be a breakout star, which is what you ultimately became, and that's always been the case. It's been very easy for me because this is what I really do for a living. This is what I was doing before I went on television. I didn't run into the store and say, oh my God, I'm on TV, what can I grab and pretend that I'm doing? It was all pretty authentic. Was there a moment where you thought, well, venturing in this direction, doing Housewives, that might undermine my business sense? I absolutely thought that doing Housewives might destroy what I was doing. 